these are the parts did a little bit of body work primered them today the door panel there got a door panel here we're gonna probably figure out some sort of hinge mechanism for you I was thinking about just leaving it up to you but it might be nice we can just put a little hinge mechanism so that you can either use it or not change it around yourself um, some of these parts are for an f40 this is like your air conditioning duct Ooh, primer still a little bit tacky uh, air conditioning duct that goes behind here you've got this piece that goes on like that behind there here's your piece that goes on in from behind a little bucket and you've got this little piece that goes there for access to your fuses and that's about it that's your door panels then we've got a lot of rain around here I'm gonna run in here and just about got everything together got your lights installed on the uh, bumper um, we've got buckets I'm gonna give you a couple different options here here's some buckets for the driving lights which the driving lights are right down here we've got to assemble them and here's what we've done in the past where that can go inside of there then you got that and there's a bucket now that's what I did on my car many years ago and that worked out pretty good the reason it's got this little piece here is for the frame on the car there's a little bit of clearance issues um, now the one thing I'm looking for is LED lights for this because this is polycarbonate I don't know if you can see it let me see here that's a polycarbonate piece instead of glass and the bulbs that we get with the lights they heat up quite a bit and the polycarbonate kind of gets a little bit soft and so I'm thinking LED lights for inside of there those are just H3 lights so I just need an H3 LED light and you'll have probably even more light coming out than you normally would with these bulbs and you get the heat down to about zero so that's that got your front valance got your rear uh, engine lid cover here's the frame sorry we've got a lot of mess going on because we've got so much stuff going on here's our frame for the uh, rear deck lid here's the frame for the front hood we use a factory 308 hood uh, as a template and we also have another a jig set up where we weld it in but then for these pieces right here we uh, use the factory hood and also we tack these in place so when you get them these are just tacked in place in case your car is a little bit different and you you know we don't want to weld them in place really really good so you can just cut it move it a little bit some some of them down up over so that it jives with your car and same thing down here you can see there's the factory mount uh, that the hood mounts to here's our piece we kind of tack welded in place so that you know it's in the it's in about the same place as this one but you might want to move it around for your car okay do, 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 do. there's some BMW bumpers we've got um, this is the rear court or the rear the rear of the car these are the pieces that we make for you so this you can see all the holes in there that is going to line up that's the profile of the back of the car right uh, at the top there is where the tail fits in and then right there is kind of where license plates would go and it's real easy to take that piece once you get the rear clip and you'll see this a lot easier now there's the holes it'll just you can put the left side of the car on Let me back up here with my camera a little bit left side of the car on right side of the car on and then screw that piece together go up inside and fiberglass it and it's a little bit easier than trying to stretch this out from left side right side stretch it out and then push it onto the car there's a couple things that get in the way that you've got to trim out of the way and doing it like this makes it pretty easy for you so that's that let me go over here in the shop 
And this is what we're gonna load up tomorrow. We've kind of gotten some of this stuff out of the way. So this is all done. That's just paper and tape. We'll cut all those out for you. And uh, there's the front fenders. And we have anything else hiding here? Got a little speedster. Um, seems like, eh, there's front hood, skin, the skin for the front hood. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna do this a real quick video, so hopefully I didn't forget anything. This isn't the very last video. What we'll do is put this together. Um, one of the very last things that we have to do and I'm contemplating on sealing this all up for you, or do I just give you this, which is the light unit as it starts out, and give this to you and let you assemble everything. So you can, I think the way to do this is to silicone it all together so you've got a nice seal, because this one came with a factory seal and uh, it won't work on these. So the way to do this, I think, is just to silicone it together, and then um, that should do the trick. Here's all the louver material. So I'm gonna give you more than enough louver material. Um, in case you ruin a couple pieces, I'll give you plenty of extra. And then you're just gonna cut it to size. Cut, cut, cut. And uh, this is the old piece that I gave them a template for, but that's, what it looks like and yeah let's see what else do we have here got some vintage motorcycle parts we're doing for a friend who's into vintage motorcycles I think that might do let me go over this in my head front valance front oh the rear bumpers are in another room next door got the rear bumpers there we've got pretty much everything you saw the the uh, door panels and the dash. That's gonna be, maybe I might've forgotten something, the cloisonne badges. Um, oh, the mirrors. You go into my office here, you can see all kinds of stuff laying around. These mirrors, um, we've got the pivot mechanism that needs just a little bit more work. Here's cloisonne badges. Oh, the mirrors need to be ground down on the edges. And uh, I'll go over here, close the badges, just grab a couple off the stack there, and uh, that should do it. So we're just about there. We're getting pouring rain, which kind of slows us down a little bit. I am hoping by Friday that this crate is all together and I'll lay the parts out there Friday. It's not supposed to be raining here. So we'll probably lay the parts out like you see in all the other videos, kind of just go over everything again and uh, then show you a little video of how we packed the crate and we should be good to go. I would say early next week, if you can send that last half of the money after you see the video and everything looks good to you, um, we should be good to go early next week. So signing off here. Um, if you got any questions, just let me know.